We've never done this before. This is a new twist on uh, a weekly tradition. It's presented by our friends at Local Environmental Services. Uh, it's a little something, if you're a regular, you know. We call it Trash Talk! All right, so I'm chatting with Premier yesterday, and I say to her, you know, what's your plan? Or do you have a plan? Or do you care about reaching out to moderate or progressive conservatives that lent their votes to the NDP? Some of them did it on the record, like former Minister of Municipal Affairs, Doug Griffiths, and former Deputy Premier under Alison Redford, Thomas Lukasik. Uh, do you have plans to reach out to them? And, and sort of here's how that played out on Thursday's Real Talk. Is winning back moderate or progressive conservatives a priority for you? And if so, how will you do it? Well, you have to remember that Thomas Lukasik and Doug Griffiths both quit the caucus when Jim Prentice tried to bring the parties together. So they haven't been part of the conservative movement for a long time. Okay, so I'm on the sideline of a soccer game yesterday and I get a text message from the <laughs> former deputy premier and it says, please call me. And I went, oh boy. So I check out Thomas Lukasik's Twitter, and he says to the Premier, it's a bold lie. He says, Danielle, can you be honest just once? He says, Doug Griffiths resigned his seat in protest to your floor crossing. And Thomas says, I resigned cabinet in 2014 to run for the PC leadership, and then I ran as a PC in 2015. What are you talking about? He says, please apologize to Doug and me. Well, Doug Griffiths chimes in and says, to be specific, I left the caucus meeting as Danielle entered. I said I would not sit in caucus with her because she has no integrity. They asked me to hold off my resignation. I resigned two days before the next caucus meeting in January, live on Ryan's show, which is true. I'll never forget that. So there you have it. Thomas and Doug pushing back, saying that is not accurate at all. In Thomas's case, most especially not accurate. He resigned to seek the leadership, then ran again. You remember he lost in Edmonton Castle Downs. It was one of the more surprising losses of that 2015 election, the orange wave. The other one, probably Lori Blakeman, the Alberta Liberal MLA that had been serving in Edmonton Center, right? David Shepard took her out. Thomas and Lori joined me for a roundtable on my previous radio show a few days after the election. Can you believe we called it the Losers Lounge? <laughs> they were such good sports about it. But it was an amazing and emotional conversation for those two. So, Thomas, thanks for reaching out. Thanks for keeping our show on the toes. And for the rest of you, thanks for being in touch and sharing what you think about. Thanks for not holding back. Thanks for telling us how subject matter resonates with you. And thanks for telling us what you'd like to hear in future on shows to come. You can send us an email anytime to talk at ryanjesperson.com. Trash Talk is presented by Local Environmental Services. Keep it local at localenvironmental.ca. Johnny and I are off next week, which means we'll be back the Monday after. We'll keep you posted. Sign up to our weekly email by scrolling to the bottom of the page at ryanjesperson.com. And, of course, follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and where else are we? Twitter at RealTalkRJ. Make it a great Friday, friends. We'll talk to you soon.